Like all good works of fiction, Game of Thrones has crafted a narrative that is at times eerily similar to our current political climate. This is particularly true in the case of climate change. Surprisingly, Game of Thrones does a great job paralleling the complexities of climate change throughout the show. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the following scene in the seventh season that nails exactly why there hasn't been an overwhelming response to climate action in the last few decades. How do I convince people who don't know me that an enemy they don't believe in is coming to kill them all? Good question. I know it's a good question. I'm looking for an answer. People's minds aren't made for problems that large. White Walkers, the Night King, Army of the Dead. It's almost a relief to confront a comfortable, familiar monster like my sister. With just a few lines of dialogue, this scene encapsulates one of the biggest psychological barriers facing widespread climate action. Tyrion and Jon are discussing the White Walkers, which in this scene can be read as stand-ins for climate change. We find it much easier to ignore or push aside such a big issue like climate change in our minds because it seems so broad and intangible. So instead, we concentrate our efforts on the Cersei Lannisters of the world, problems that we can understand and for which there are established solutions. But unfortunately, the metaphor of the White Walkers only goes so far in illuminating our relative inaction in the face of a rapidly changing climate. Unlike Jon Snow, we can't go on a life or death mission to prove that climate change exists. Our battle with the psychology of climate change is much harder. So why exactly is it so easy to ignore the crisis that is climate change? Simply put, climate change is a combination of everything our brain is bad at understanding. In a lecture at TEDx, psychologist Daniel Gilbert states, We respond to threats that are intentional, immoral, imminent, and instantaneous. He then goes on to say that climate change is none of those things. Threats that lack these features do not. Global warming, one of the greatest threats to the future of our species, doesn't have any of these properties. Human beings have a cognitive bias towards instant gratification and loss aversion. Or in other words, we tend to gravitate towards solving problems that are short-term and easily understandable, like a murder. Thus, the long-term destruction of a climatic disaster makes it hard for us to collectively act. It's amorphous, there's no clear enemy, and there's no one clear solution. As a result, we become apathetic, which gives Professor Gilbert reason to say, a psychologist could barely dream up a better scenario for paralysis. How then can we take collective action in light of the fact that our brains are hardwired to essentially ignore the threat of climate change? Well, for one, understanding the way in which we psychologically approach climate change is crucial for action. But unfortunately, that's just a first step. In order to successfully rouse ourselves into climate action, maybe we do need to learn from Jon Snow's strategy in Game of Thrones by showing the world that climate change, or in Game of Thrones' case, White Walkers, are real, tangible, and an imminent threat. Climate change is caused by a multitude of systemic problems which require solutions on many fronts. This means finding your own villains to fight, like fossil fuel companies as Bill McKibben suggests, or a capitalist system as Naomi Klein writes in her book, This Changes Everything. Or maybe we need to constantly address important stories that demonstrate that climate change isn't a problem for the future, it's instead a problem for it today. Stories like constant sunshine floods in Miami or damaging sea level rise in Bangladesh can help people understand the looming cloud of climate change is very real and is affecting millions of people already. We share this news occasionally, but it's often pushed aside with claims that the science is still unsettled or we need more debate. But this decade is going to be warmer than the last one and the following one will be still warmer. I, I, agree, I agree with Ms. Harbert. I think the, set, the science is far from settled. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It will take large transformations along many sectors in order to truly combat a changing climate. But finding our own White Walkers is essential to making climate change a tangible and immediate threat that our minds can react to and understand. This video was made possible in part by the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. If you're interested in helping me grow this channel, head on over to Patreon and pledge a small amount of money for every video I release. In return, I'll send you gifts like a handwritten thank you note or an Our Changing Climate sticker. As always, if you like what you just saw, share it around and subscribe.
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.